Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and I finally managed to get my hands on both variants of the Galaxy Note 4. The black one you see here is the Snapdragon 805 variant and the white is the Exynos 5433 variant. So once I got my hands on both, I had a lot of you asking me to do a comparison between both devices. So here we are. So right now, both these Note 4s are fully charged 100% I've just unplugged them uh, from the outlets and uh, they've also been factory reset. So first we're going to reboot these devices and check out the boot time speeds and then I'm going to go off camera, download a bunch of benchmarks on these two phones and we're going to run them side by side. So as far as battery life goes, both these phones, like I said, are on 100% charged right now. And uh, I will be doing the exact same things on both devices. So I'll be downloading the same benchmark apps and I'll be running the same benchmarks. So by the end of this video, we'll see which variant has more juice left. As per our regular C4E Tech tradition, we've got an iPhone, the iPhone 6 Plus this time playing stopwatch. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot both these devices. I guess I hit reboot a second later on the uh, Exynos variant. So as you can see the Exynos variant despite me hitting the reboot key a second later has managed to boot up earlier. So guys so far I've gone ahead and installed all the benchmarks that I wanted and as you can see the Snapdragon variant is a little bit is doing a little bit better with battery life it's got uh, it's lost just about 10% charge whereas the Exynos has lost a percent a percentage extra but again too early to tell so let's go ahead get started with the benchmarks. So first off and to do. Snapdragon variant has completed the benchmark faster. So we're waiting for the Exynos to catch up here. Though the Exynos seemingly took longer to get the benchmark test done, it has the highest score here. So going into details, so that's the exact comparison here. So just to let you know guys, I have, I mean both phones are on full brightness and I have location services turned on, on uh, turned off on both. I did this as soon as uh, uh, I, I signed into my Google account. And also the screen timeout has been set to 10 minutes on both devices. So all background apps have been cleared. So now let's move on to the next benchmark. Basemark X. So this time the Snapdragon variant does come out a little ahead. So let's quickly go back to the home screen and clear background processes and move on to Geekbench 3. So we have the Geekbench 3 results and the Exynos variant is outperforming the Snapdragon 805 variant here. So next up, let's run Quadrant Standard. So running the full benchmark. So this time the Snapdragon variant seems to be performing better. So next up, let's run Velamo.
So let's first let's run the browser benchmark. So as you can see, the Exynos variant outperforms the Snapdragon variant by a lot here. So anyway, let's quickly run Velamo Metal now. And again, the Exynos outperforms the Snapdragon here. So next up, moving on to GFX Bench, uh, let's run Manhattan and T-Rex on screen. So hitting start. So traditionally, uh, when it comes to CPU intensive or all round benchmarks, the Exynos hold a narrow edge over the Snapdragon variants. But, but it, when it comes to GPU intensive benchmarks like uh, GFX Bench or 3D Mark, it's always been at Reno on the Snapdragon chips that have outperformed their uh, counterparts on the Exynos. So that's tradition. That's how it's been the past few years. Let's see what happens now. But this time around, there isn't a lot between both GPUs, 11 frames per second here, 10 for Manhattan compared to 27 to 24. So yeah, the Adreno 420 does seem to per perform better than um, Mali T760 MP6, but it's not as huge a difference as it's been in previous years. So next up, we get a 3D mark. So this we are going to be running iStorm Unlimited here. Again, another GPU intensive benchmark. So I have zoomed in a little bit. I know it looks a bit awkward, but I want you guys to note the frame rates down below. So that's the reason uh, the placement's a little awkward. Sorry about that. So here we have the results and yes, the Snapdragon variant does come out ahead, but not by much, not a lot really. So guys, we're done and uh, both phones seemingly have almost the same amount of battery left, 61 and 62%, so not a lot different there either. So uh, again, uh, another thing here is as long as, as far as heat is concerned, I feel the Snapdragon variant does get heated up a little more than the Exynos variant. There have been quite a few times uh, when I was shooting this video where I had to, where I felt that the Exynos variant was really getting, like getting real hot. And it's at these points that I got some inconsistent results. Say for example, this or this, and this has happened only with the Snapdragon variant. The Exynos variant has been giving me consistent results here, no matter how long the phone's been running. So that again is not a huge difference, but just thought I'd let you guys know. So my two cents here, unless both variants are selling in your country, you shouldn't really worry about it and just pick up whichever variants available. There's really not a lot between these two. They are pretty evenly stacked up. So I guess that's pretty much it guys for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. And if you do have any video requests for me, or if you do have any feedback, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. The direct links to all my social networks can be found right below the like button in the description. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.